Hi everyone and welcome to this quick video where I tell you about TCS NQT 2021 the one that's being held in February 2021 three quick points here number one who's eligible what can you expect in the TCS NQT and how can you prepare for the TCS NQT happening in February 2021 so yeah without further delay let's get started and let's go directly uh, to understanding who's actually eligible for this test so actually the eligibility this time is for anybody who's a fresher as well as somebody who's graduating with up to two years of experience, right? So if you have like 2018, 2019, and even 2020 graduates are all uh, eligible for this one. So please don't miss this opportunity. The registration closed on 10th Feb. So you may have missed the opportunity, but just keep looking out for these kind of things. Subscribe to this channel to know more about opportunities for you in case you've missed this registration deadline. The test will be conducted on 18th and 19th February, 2021. Now, the cool part about this is this uh, NQT, though it is being conducted by TCS, that's why it's called TCS NQT, though it is being conducted by TCS, it's not actually just for TCS. So other companies are also taking up this NQT score. That's why it has a validity of up to two years. You can take this score and you can apply it to companies like Titan, Chroma, Equifax, Data Patterns, all of these companies, you can actually apply it to them and TCS also, obviously. And so I believe that it's a really good test to give because, you know, other companies are going to increasingly start recognizing this kind of a test. It's something like you could say, uh, I think they're going to go into the direction of AMCAT and CoCubes probably. Uh, and as this is being conducted by TCS ION as well, right? So uh, this is these are all the companies that actually accept TCS NQT. The pattern this time is actually, there seems to be four different types of NQTs that you're supposed to do. Uh, it's the same as the previous one, except that they've now just given it different names. So first is the NQT score. Uh, this is the first thing that they're going to actually uh, take into account. This is your cognitive abilities or aptitude. So they're going to take in your aptitude score. And what is the syllabus for aptitude? What are you supposed to do? Uh, you know, we'll, we've covered it elsewhere. I'll show that to you as well. Then there is the attitudinal alignment. This is nothing but a psychometric test. So, you know, they're just going to know more about your psychology, your behavior. Uh, you can't really prepare for this one. Then there's the industry NQT score. I'll talk a little bit about this. And there's a subject NQT score. Let's look at the cognitive, uh, you know, uh, NQT. So in this one, it is similar. We are expecting as the last time, the one that happened in October, 2020, we expected 24 questions in verbal, uh, 30 in reasoning and 26 in numerical and roughly you have 30, 40, 50 and 40 minutes respectively for each of them. Um, if you had given the test in October 2020, you're still eligible to give it again this time. So please do go ahead and give it again. Uh, don't think that you, since you applied that time, you can't do it now. You can actually go ahead and also give it now as well right um then there is the industry nqt score now this is a bit of a confusion uh you are mostly going to get questions about the it sector now since nqt is also being used by the other sectors for example retail and banking so you are also going to uh, you could get questions on retail banking if you choose to apply for retail or banking but on the official tcs website it says coming soon so i don't think they're going to ask you that they're going to mostly ask you a little bit of topics about uh, the it uh, sector as such um again nothing that you know some general knowledge can't really help you with so I would say that this is mostly going to be general knowledge stuff. Uh, the subject NQT is the one that's going to be, if you are going specifically for TCS, if you're going for the other companies, that's a different story. But if you're going specifically for TCS, then you would need to uh, prepare for programming logic and coding. And again, in October, 2020, this is the rough pattern that we had saw. Uh, so you can probably expect the same thing. 10 like programming logic questions, like these are the MCQ questions and two coding questions, roughly about 15 and 45 minutes respectively for each of them. Uh, how you can go ahead and prepare for these is exactly how we helped you prepare in the uh, October 2020 version. So let me show you how you can go ahead and prepare for this, all of these things. Uh, if you want to know the exact syllabus for the aptitude, as well as you want to figure out, um, you know, what are the kind of questions that I need to prepare for, go on to this link above. I mentioned the link above over here. Once you click that link, this is what opens up for you, right? So you'll get to this edit link over here which is all the, again, all the information that I have uh, told you all again about TCS NQT. And as you can see here, we have also put in the syllabus for what we expect TCS NQT to be about. So what are the verbal uh, questions that you can get, logical questions, numerical questions, and so on. Once you click this try one free module, uh, it'll ask you to sign up uh, on a few like sign up details, etc. your name, phone number, email ID, uh, and it will actually lead you into the Edist platform. 
right? And as you can see here, you have the course payment as well. So what you get is one free module. You can actually go in and get one free module over here. This free module has one free mock test as well. Please go ahead and check it out. It is as per the pattern of TCS NQT with respect to the numerical, logical, uh, verbal, as well as programming MCQs as well as coding questions. So do check out these questions, right? If nothing, you should at least do this one mock test in preparation for your NQT. This goes for anybody, all graduates, anybody who is trying to prepare for the TCS test. Now, if you're trying to go for, let's say Equifax or some of the other companies, uh, then you may not probably be required to give a programming subject test. So, but if you're going for a programming subject test, this is a must to go through all of these questions over here. And, um, uh, you know, that is just one mock test. And if you want to go for a full on preparation, then you have your quants, logical, verbal, all of these uh, tutorials are there. You can uh, pay and unlock. Uh, you pay just to click on this right side, pay 999. Uh, you can just unlock that and uh, you pay that and unlock the entire course and you will get all the previous year's questions, including the latest one that came from October, 2020. We've analyzed those and you'll get those questions as well, as well as the latest MCQs, the la latest coding questions and so on. So yeah, uh, you get, apart from all of these things, you also get like, you know, uh, 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 tutorials, uh, obviously to all of the questions and one free mock test, five paid mock tests. So once you unlock that, you get paid mock tests as well. You get solutions to all the coding questions. You will get support on the forums. If you have any coding questions, doubts, you can also reach out to our mentors on the chat and they will help you out with any coding questions and any programming MCQ questions as well. Right. So yeah, I hope you are starting to prepare for your TCS NQT 2021. That is going to be held in February, 2021. If you like this kind of a videos, please do subscribe to our channel and let us know uh, what are the other kind of companies that you are aiming for and we'll help you get the preparation as well as the syllabus for that. Do hit the like button, share this with any of your friends who are preparing for TCS NQT 2021. Uh, once again, the link to sign up for the preparation pack is over here. You have roughly about one week, uh, a little bit more than one week, about 10, sorry, seven, eight days. So yeah, go ahead and start practicing for that. And thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. All the best, everybody. Thank you.